Okay, so here we have part two of the hot tub home theater PC project. And uh, we're downstairs in the basement right now where all of the wiring terminates. So let's go on a little tour of the server room here. So here, all my really messy wiring that I really need to do comes back and terminates to a D-Link gigabit switch. Um, that's our Buffalo network attached storage, kind of really cheesy backup. Um, anyway, but down here is the beast. Let me see if I can back this up a little bit and get, get a good shot of that. So there is the Norco RPC 4020, and you can see here we've got uh, two banks of five drives, so that's 10 drives times two terabytes is uh, 20 terabytes. So let's see if we can open this up. And if you'll notice on the monitor here, we are running uh, Unraid server, which is a Linux distribution specifically for um, network attached storage. So let's see if we can open this guy up here and give you a little in-depth in-depth of what's going on. So here we have the top, right? There's the front. Oh, and each one of these is just a removable drive cage. So in the future, whenever I want to add a disk drive, I just open this up, slide it out. I put the disk in here and it slides back in there. And uh, it's a lot easier than having to open the case up every time just to be able to add a hard drive. And you can't really see it, but there's like a blue LED and a green one. Oh, I guess you can see it. They light up pretty faint. The power ones are are on there and pretty good, but the, the blue ones are, are pretty faint. Anyway, so those are these are the data drives. And then up here, this is a uh, Seagate. Uh, Seagate Momentus. Let's see if we can get that. I uh, can't really. It's a 500 gig uh, laptop hard drive. And that's what does all the processing and downloading. Um, so all of the downloading and processing happens on there. Um, and then is moved over subsequently to the data drives when it's complete. Um, right behind here where the drives are mounted, we have a fan array of uh, four fans, 80 millimeter fans. Um, they kick out quite a lot of air, and that cools the back plane nicely. And then from the back plane, uh, we have a regular uh, motherboard. This is an Asus uh, M4A75M motherboard. Nothing special, AMD uh, dual core processor. This is a uh, Thermaltake uh, 750 watt power supply. Uh, I like this one because it was modular. I don't know if you can see that in there, but the, uh, the power plugs, you didn't have to have them all connected all the time. So I only connected the ones that I needed here, which is kind of a mess. I don't know if you can see that, but those are 10 Molex connectors that supply power to the uh, back plane. Um, that's, a, that's a lot. And it's the old style connectors too, so. Anyway, the rest of them I bundled up and didn't need in there for airflow and moving them out of the way. There is the mass of SCSI, or SATA cables, serial APA cables. Coming back to the, to the main board, we've got some uh, main board connectors there. And then we have two PCI riser cards um, that they're uh, connected to. This PCI Express slot here is soon to be um, populated by an eight port multi-lane card. So that's gonna take all the rest of these connectors on the back here, I don't know if we can see them. Can't really see them very clearly, but see how there's all these ones that are connected, and this one, only half of them are connected. Well, that's gonna take all the rest of these uh, connectors are gonna come and go directly to the, uh, to the eight port card here. And then I'll be able to have all the drive A's accessible and running. And that's it, with the cover off, this is what it sounds like when it's, when it's running full tilt. Um, and it doesn't, doesn't actually sound too bad. This is serving uh, all the TVs in the house. So there's the living room TV, there's the uh, secondary viewing TV, there's the kitchen, the hot tub, and then everybody's laptop and computers, all of them run in stream media from, from here over Gigabit. So it works extremely well. For anybody that's looking for a case, this uh, RPC 4020, it's about 350 bucks from uh, Newegg. Uh, well worth it, absolutely worth it. So that's it for now. We'll go with uh, part three of the video, which will be the installation of the SATA card. And uh, yeah, hopefully some people find this informative.